I'm Marcus Bivage, I'm the Managing Director of the Queen City Law, and today we thought we'd give you a little bit of a tour around our new office. This is Liv, and this is Alex, and when you come to the firm, you'll often see them out at the reception. So we came into this office um, in the middle of COVID and the office was stripped back right back to its bare shell and it was over 600 square metres and we had a lot of input, particularly our practice manager Amy, in terms of the design. We wanted to make the office flow much better, be much bigger, be really bright and inviting to clients. This firm has really been built on accessibility and we have a very tight-knit team and one of the things was having a really transparent and open space for clients to come and gather. As you will see, there's a really big use of glass in the office, there's not walls and so, so the whole idea is that we're open and transparent and everybody can feel uh, comfortable talking to their lawyers about their, their matters. We kept the beams exposed because of the industrial look which we all liked. In this reception area you will see it's very spacious, it's got three lifts coming into it and we also have a portrait of the west coast which is important to a lot of the staff here who have grown up out in the west, west uh, western suburbs of Auckland. We haven't managed to have a rock band in here yet but we will sooner or later because we are party people. From the reception area, we now come into one of the social areas. As I mentioned before, we've got over 600 squares here in this office, and this part is a really important part of the office for the staff to mix and mingle. It's got a sonar sound system, a frame TV, and on Friday nights, a lot of the staff do hang out here and chat about stuff, but we can also use it for a conference set up. We've had a lot of construction and immigration conferences within the firm, and we can uh, assemble a lot of people in here in this space, which is very inviting and works really, really well. The artwork here we've had commissioned. This is a Dave Satoki um, piece of art, which is uh, also one of that our landlord client has a, a very similar piece, which is a really important piece of art to us from Dave, who's based down in Canterbury. So one of the other great things about the office is that it really opens up, and actually our clients can actually see our, our property team, our immigration team busy at work. So we've made it really interactive in that sense. It also opens up, it's got great flow, and as you can see, you can come straight through and see the people in the different working pods. And one of my secret agendas is that we can actually have rock bands playing here from time to time on big client functions, but now that we're out of the COVID kind of world and we can start relaxing again, we're hoping to have some really good entertainment here over the next couple of years. So for us, one of the really important things for our clients was to have sufficient meeting rooms and um, here we have several meeting rooms. We've got a, a smaller one down that end, a really large one here and a boutique one here for our boutique practice. So this is our largest meeting room. Um, it's sort of designed to be COVID proof in terms of working from home. We often have 20 people around here every Wednesday morning. Everybody gets their coffee, we have chocolate fish and we go through all of the management issues that modern day boutique law firms deal with. The ceiling itself is a bit of an art piece to us with a special lighting feature which is really cool when everyone's sitting around the table. I've noticed the girls really love the lighting for their selfies. So. <laughs> One of the favourite things about the firm is the transparency. It's very hard to have secrets in this firm um, internally so you see from this height we can see what's going on in the office. Let's go and have a look. Look, ladies and gentlemen, it's Brother Tom. Ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> uh, welcome you to my own office space. This is where I hang out, and um, you'll see it's designed to have client seats. So we have some of our special clients come in here. I let some of the other guys use the office if they want to. Here in my office, one of the talking pieces is all of the law awards that the firm has won over the year. Um, for example, we won the property construction law firm of the year five years in a row, and we won the boutique law firm of New Zealand three years in a row. Interestingly enough, Queen City Law again is, uh, was a finalist in the boutique law awards this year, and we um, are in fact in the top 20 boutique law firms of New Zealand this year, so we're very proud of that achievement. And talking of construction, you know, one of the things I see every day is the underground railway being built out here with Sky City in the background and one day this will become a very important part of Auckland again and the city will come of age and hopefully go through a golden period and we therefore feel very happy to be located here uh, in the middle of the city. Now let me take you to the engine room of the firm where all the hard work is done. As you will see along here we've got the traditional law firm offices with uh, 
offices where the doors can close so the lawyers can concentrate on the work they're doing. So here's one of our senior lawyers, Max Hart at work. As you'll see, he's got a stand-up desk. He's brilliantly organized, total efficiency, vitamin pills, skin product, a couple of screens open. He's powering into it. Here we have senior associate and team leader, Tina Huang. Uh, you'll see Tina in a lot of the other videos. She's been doing a lot of videos on construction law, on the things to watch out when you're buying property, and uh, employment law, and a range of other things. Very, very highly skilled lawyer, Tina. Further down the office, we now see the immigration team with its honourable leader over there in the corner, Bradley Sewell. Yeah, this year, the firm has been recognised as a leading boutique law firm in New Zealand. A lot of that is attributable to Bradley and his leadership of a very smart and award-winning team. Brad's just come back from Manila yesterday. He's been up recruiting um, Filipino construction guys with a couple of big New Zealand construction companies. We're very proud of his achievements. And uh, he didn't come down on the last raindrop. Yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Brendan. So one of the other interesting things out here, we've played in, uh, outdoor soccer. They're also having a dodgeball competition, and we're challenging our landlord, which is Bay Group, to a dodgeball competition. If any of our clients would like to take us on, there is the arena. Watch our TikToks, you'll see Bradley shooting basket after basket, air ball after air ball. But yeah, it's one of the ways that we uh, wind down. Oh, and okay. occasionally a few of us former softballers like to... Did you get that? <laughs> Here we have one of uh, Quincy Law's most valuable personnel, um, team leader, practice manager, Amy Young. So Amy had a lot to do with the design of this office, which has worked beautifully and deserves high praise from the whole firm. Um, Amy, what are you up to today? Working. <laughs> I mentioned earlier the firm is a very competitive firm, we don't like to lose, we don't lose in basketball, we don't lose in softball, we don't lose in any sports we play, and here we challenge any other firm or any <laughs> client to come and join us. Amy, what are these? Dodgeballs. Dodgeballs. So if you really want to give us a challenge, come along and have a crack at our title. Okay, now we're moving into the intellectual part of the office where our litigation team hang out, so you'll see Mr. Mr. Dillon here senior consultant with the firm, um, one of our top litigators of course, and as you will see, also ergonomic. So here you'll see that the, the guys have taken a lot of time, particularly Josie, putting together our notice boards. These are a lot of the super yachts that we represented during COVID, some of the billionaires from the states and from Taiwan, and these are a lot of the high-rise projects in the city that we've acted on over the last 20 years. So this is sort of a bit of a hall of fame. This goes right back to 20 years ago when the firm was set up and shows a lot of the sort of social side of the firm, um, from fishing trips to uh, talent nights, um, and, and we really pride ourselves on the unity we've had and the very little tune we've had within the firm because of the strong family values that we have here. Welcome to the kitchen. We're lucky enough to have an oven. It gets used a lot for the delicious sausage rolls that the firm likes to eat. And um, it's a space that the staff, I think it's really important that the staff, they can try to hang out here and escape from their desks and the, and the busyness of the daytime. So I hope that's given you a really good insight into the firm. It's a very um, happy workplace here and we really love being in the new office. Um, if you'd like to come in and challenge us in Dodgeball, you know our number. If you'd like to come and have a drink on a Friday night, you're most welcome. Or if you'd like to engage the best law firm in New Zealand, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.